You want to chat as well. Wednesday's FOMC meeting was always uh, going to be whether the the Fed pushed back, had a hawkish pushback against um, dovish market expectations or not. And it seems not. They are seen as a pivot from the Fed. They kept rates on hold as expected, but updated dot plots, uh, the statement and Powell Presser uh, really convinced the market that uh, the peak is in and we're going to be seeing multiple rate cuts next year. Uh, the reaction of the market was uh, pretty profound. The dollar uh, index dumped along with yields, um, it blew through that 200 day moving average there, which had been some pretty good support. Closing at session lows there around 102.77, uh, really the next minor support to the downside there being the November swing low at around 102.46. Uh, the Japanese yen was a, a particular beneficiary of this dump in US yields. It saw that rate differential between US and uh, Japanese 10 years tighten significantly. So that dollar yen pair dropping to an under a 140 or in a 142 handle has really played catch up to the yield differential. It's really testing that key support now around that 200 day moving average and the December lows. Uh, gold surged around $30 US an ounce, uh, falling US dollar and yields really emboldened the bulls there. Uh, XAU USD retook that psychological 2000 US dollar an ounce level after finding some strong support early in the week at those October to December uh, low to high FIB retracement level, 50% level there. Uh, a retest of major resistance to that 27 level is really on the cards and that will be the key level to watch for the gold traders. Uh, today, we've got some more central bank action, Swiss National Bank and the Bank of England uh, due to release their rate decisions.